Doc, my knee is giving me more and more trouble. What do you think? Is it time for surgery? You've known this 68-year-old patient for over a decade. His passion is hiking, but his knee bothers him so much that he can't enjoy the great outdoors. You both wonder about total knee replacement, or TKR. More than 670,000 total knee replacements are performed in the United States every year. The surgery is common, but whether to have the operation remains a difficult decision for patients and physicians alike. Is the benefit worth the postoperative pain and possible long-term complications? Skull and colleagues report the results of a randomized controlled trial of total knee replacement involving 100 patients with moderate to severe osteoarthritis. 50 patients were assigned to non-surgical interventions, such as physical therapy, orthotics and education, the control group, and the other 50 were assigned to surgery plus the same non-surgical interventions as appropriate. Those randomized to surgery had significantly greater improvement in symptoms than those treated without surgery. However, total knee replacement was associated with more serious adverse events, including stiffness requiring manipulation, deep vein thrombosis, and other complications. Your patient chose surgery, but his postoperative course was complicated by a clinically significant pulmonary embolus that landed him in the ICU for a few days. However, he recovered fully and within a year was back on the trail again. To him, the benefit was worth the surgical and postoperative pain as well as the significant complications. He wants the other knee to be done soon. This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.